Hello everyone and welcome back to Horse Haven! We are here in Hearthstone Village where I've got even more amazing, exciting surprises to share with you guys. And we have very first thing to show off, a new house! So look at this! I am just in love with this. We've gone from our tiny little rustic cabin to a beautiful house. It looks like it's got some little attic rooms and we have this beautiful porch. Oh my gosh, and look at the flowers! My goodness, you know, if our aunt ever came back, Aunt Carol ever came back to reclaim her ranch, she would be very surprised at all of the changes we have initiated in it. But I am totally in love with it. First things first, let's go out into the back fields. Whoops, we'll look at the, we'll look at the letters in a second, mail in a second. But let's come out to these back fields and tidy things up real quick. Dun dun, dun 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 dun. Oh, okay, hang on, steeplechase stuff. All right, there we go. That's a trick. If you have a hard time reaching some of the uh, dirty paddock area, behind your letters, click on the paddock, and then you're able to get all of the things that were hiding back there. So there we go, a beautiful clean field. When can we make this? Ooh, rank 21, we're so close, you guys. I really wanna reach rank 21 so that our horses can have the most area to be able to free roam. Oh, that'll be exciting. All right, let's check the mail. New steeplechase season has just started. We have won the champion of Japan steeplechase. Woohoo! So we're gonna get 200 coins for that. Thank you to Michaela, Riona, Unknown, 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 and Luke for coming by and petting our horses. I'm sure many more of you guys have come by to pet them. I think it just shows you six friends at a time. All right, and yep, there's the new video you can watch to get bonus content. Andy, Michaela, Riona, unknown, unknown, and unknown, thank you so much for stopping by to visit our ranch. I think today we may just stop by and visit some of our friends' ranches too. And oh my goodness, 32,640 coins. Thank you um, for the social breeding reward. Oh my goodness, well, that's always exciting. We almost have enough to finish clearing out this area of the fields, but not quite. We're still working towards it. All right, so first things first, let's get this little foal out of the breeding house. Ooh. Because we have uh, an empty stable now, and this stable actually used to belong to Chestnut, but I went ahead and sold Chestnut because he was level 10, and a lot of our friends have male Krillios, so I think we'll be okay. And it's really hard because there's so many horse breeds, you guys. Just look at the book. Look at the book the Horsepedia shows us. Oh, oh, and Virgos are available now. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Virgos are available. Oh wow, so they'll be available for another month. And they too, oh, they're so pretty. I'm really happy with our Leos though, because we have two Leos. What does the Virgo have? Unknown for traits. So we might try working on that, having a Frisian and one of the ponies uh, breed and see if they can have a Virgo. But I'm actually really happy with our Leos and their bright red coloring. It's very unique. So as far as having all of the different, um, you know, exclusive horses go, we aren't able to keep all of them in the end anyway. So I'm okay with just keeping our two Leos. In fact, I'm pretty much ready to send Leona and to send our little lion star off to France so that they can hang out inside of the the beautiful big giant stable until it is time to come bring them out and breed them so we can get some diamonds all right but yeah as you can see there's tons and tons of horses and we just wouldn't be able to keep all of them unfortunately oh that dulcet is very pretty just wouldn't be able to keep all of them. Oh my goodness. So we're going to continue working on what we do have and trying to get some elite and mythic level horses. So let's check on our little baby. Hello. Oh, it's an Afrisian. <laughs> well, that's useful actually. So we have a little boy Frisian. So we're going to put him down here. There you go, buddy. Oh, and he's hungry. Hi, baby. Well, we're gonna have to see if we can meet some friends. Oh, look at his beautiful mane. Oh, he's gorgeous. Here you go, buddy. Let's get you some corn. Having a hungry baby on the farm is always fun. He's a really fast runner, actually. Are you such a fast runner? Hmm. And I think he was actually the unique um, breed produced by Willow. And we were breeding Willow up against a warm-blooded Hackney, I think. 
I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember exactly who we were breeding her against, but he was the, the new one who wasn't like either of the parents, and we were a little disappointed, but he's still beautiful and cute and adorable, so I don't mind. All right, there you go, buddy. Yeah, you're a hungry boy. Well, we'll be back to take care of you in just a minute. And other than that, let's see. I kind of want to work on getting enough money to clear out this region. That would be really nice. So let's see what we've got in terms of quest. Harvest three orange label feeds. Done. Oh, and sell seven apples. Oh, we can totally, we can totally manage that. Where's, where's some apples? Let's see. We need to sell one more apple. Boom. What do you think, cuz? Yay! So done on that quest too. We need to own a level 3 stable in France and own a level 3 farm center in France, buy one mel horse, harvest three honey, and sell seven soybeans. So sometimes these quests are really funny because they're so random. Where's our soybeans? We don't even have seven soybeans. Oh no. All right, well, we might as well get some soybeans started. And I've been wondering, I think we might start moving the fields around and we might start putting um, plants in between the greenhouses. So you might have a bunch of flowers in rows in between the greenhouses. I think that would be really nice. All right, let's go over to France really quickly and see how things are going on our French ranch. Because if I recall, we had an elite. And is she grown up? She is grown up by now. <gasps> Look at how beautiful she is. Every time it just takes my breath away. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. So we gathered up a bunch of coins from here. And then we have this drop dead beautiful elite right here. And we're trying, if I recall, to get um, Primrose and Prince ready so that they can be sold for diamonds. But you know what? I don't know. Should we sell them for diamonds? Probably, probably because they've they've been good to us and it's only good of us to keep them around. But we're having a hard time raising their levels up quickly enough. And I did, dun dun dun, I did get a chance to actually upgrade the stable. So the grand stable, oh my gosh, we could upgrade it again. <gasps> we might do that pretty soon. I did empty the grand stable a little bit. Bramble's now gone. We're just down to our, let's see, what were you, were you again? Yeah, the forge and this beautiful Brayton. And I think I'm gonna move Prince in here for now. Do I wanna move Prince in here for now? Yeah, cause, well, I'm trying to remember. What baby do we have in here? That's right, an elite male, an elite male Dutch harness. How did I forget that? How did I forget that? All right. So we're gonna come over here. And because Prince and Primrose were so good to us, we will work on getting them uh, leveled up to level 10 and selling them for diamonds in the future just as a sign of respect, even if it's not the most financially feasible thing to really do. And we're gonna get this little guy, come here. Come here, Magic. We're gonna have to change your name. And actually, I need my list. I always forget to get my list of names that you guys have come up with. But let's get down here and see if we can feed this little one. Hello, buddy. Let's see if we can get you all leveled up. Because if we can just get you to level five, there we go, level two, that's a good thing. Then we can try breeding him and see if that results in any of the babies that we need. All right, let's get some apples up on our apple trees. Oh, they're so pretty. I love these cute little apple trees. All right, how you doing, little guy? Good, you want two apples? I've got two apples. We're helping each other out here, little one. All right, and what do you want to eat next? Oats, I really hope I have enough oats. Oats are a very common request, so let's go back to Montana. And in some of our little fields, let's add in some oats. Dun 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 dun. All right, and Willow, you're looking beautiful as always. So let's come down here and I'm gonna put oats in all of these. So we can just have tons of oats. Whoops, nope, don't need to ask for help, thank you. Tons and tons of oats just everywhere. Let's see. There's a beautiful bald eagle flying by. I wonder if we should try breeding one of our horses again here. But I kind of want to save the money too so we can continue clearing out the field. So it's, it's a tricky proposition, isn't it? All right, let's come back over here. I think what we're gonna do our best to focus on right now 
is getting this little one all grown up because he is the second tier of elite dutch harness we are that much closer you guys to getting the mythic level oh no <laughs> do we not have enough oats for you little guy okay let me go back to let me go back to montana rush him back over there and then let's actually take april the second out on a really quick steeplechase i think just to see how she does. All right, so oats, how long do you guys take? Can I ask for help on the oats? Oh, you only need one person to help per oat. That's not bad. And we have lots of friends that we can ask for help. So let's go ahead. We can save four minutes on these oats. Oh, I, can, I can't ask any more people for help. Oh, I think that's because those oats were already asked for help. No, I guess you can only ask so many people for help on your, your oats at a time. Oh dear. All right, but let's actually go, and I do want to see how April the 2nd performs in a steeplechase. So let's jump into the Japan steeplechase. And I think we ran her before, and we felt like she was a little bit slower. Let's see, we'll give her a little shield. She's very pretty, though. Yeah, I think we ran her before, and we just felt like she was a little bit slower than some of the others. But that's because she doesn't have any speed boost to her. She does, however, have the fantastic jump and the excellent, absolutely amazing stamina. So I wonder what it's going to be like to have a tier three Dutch harness on our ranch. That's gonna be so exciting. That'll be a big goal to have reached too. All right, we might even have to try out some ponies at some point too. All right, jump through, there we go. Oh, and then you know another thing we could start doing as time goes on and if next time we need another goal to work towards is we can get Leo and Leona out and we can actually breed them and raise their babies and sell the baby foals for the diamonds. Off to good homes, don't worry. But get the diamonds that we need to open up all of the stables so we can have even more horses. That would be fantastic. All right, come on, little one. You can do it April the 2nd. And what would also be fantastic is to raise a horse above level 10 enough that you can do that randomizer and have a chance of improving their stats so that we could get a horse that just has really fantastic blows everyone away stats. All right, there we go. Not terrible, not terrible April the second. And hopefully the oats will be done by the time you're done. Let's jump through and let's jump through. Huzzah! And we should probably go visit a ranch or two because I'm really curious to see how you guys are decorating, how you guys are doing with your horses. Oh, jump, jump, jump. Oh, I'm sorry, April. That was totally my fault. Oh, she would have done so well if I hadn't, if I hadn't made her trip. <laughs> but there we go. So a couple minutes in, that's like a thousand coins a minute. Oh, and I love her spots. She's just so pretty. All right, and back to France. I really like how the French ranch is turning out. Oh, no, we're in Montana. Never mind. Don't mind me. Are the oats ready? Not quite yet. So let us go. And let's go visit some of our friends who are a little bit further down the list. We're just going to go Andy. Let's go visit Andy. So a random friend. And we'll see how his ranch is doing and how his horses are. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at that! Congratulations, Andy! You indeed have a Leo, a male Leo. Well, that is fantastic to you, sir. Good job! So Andy has a male Leo. Nothing else on the farm just yet. Nothing in particular when it comes to decorating. So not drawing too much inspiration, but I like how he left the little, the little constellation bit next to his Leo. So let's scroll down again. And let's go to Michaela, because I think this is the same Michaela who's always visiting and petting our horses for us. So it's only polite to go back and do the same thing. Do, 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 do. Oh, beautiful. There we go. Hello, everybody. Oh, my goodness. What a selection. Who's this? Oh, she's beautiful. I like her. Ardenas. And then we have a Dutch harness female. An Andalusian, a Dutch harness male, and an Appaloosa. Very nice, Michaela. She's done very well at her rank in level two. 
Oh my goodness, lots of floors to clear out a little bit. So there's a little bit more room. And then finally, let's go ahead and visit Jaina. Just so we can see what your guys' ranches are up to and how you guys are doing. Dun 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 dun. What horses are gonna be here? Oh my goodness, there's no horses. Jenna, where's all your horses? <laughs> oh my goodness, are they in France? I have to go peek now because I'm really curious if all of her horses are off in France. Where'd they all go? She has no horses. I don't know what tragedy befell you, my friend, but I hope I hope you get your horses back. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a little bit exciting. No horses to speak of. All right, well, at least we're able to come down and gather up those oats. So let's go back over to France and we're gonna see if we can get our new little Dutch harness male tier two leveled up because we need him so that we can try getting the level three dutch harness i can't believe it's already so quickly within our grasp it feels like this has come together very quickly so i'm really grateful for that all right you little cutie there you go buddy some fresh oats for you can you eat something that, that will give you lots of levels now that's good that will give you a lot of levels i hope and we need to change his name because magic is definitely not going to be his name. So when I am just checking in on him later, I will be sure to pull up the amazing list of names you guys have provided to me. And what do you think now? Corn! Corn! Well, at least you're almost level 3 and at least we're almost leveled up. And remember, once we hit rank 21, we will unlock the ability to... Oh no, we need more corn! <sighs> Can I just, can I skip it? Okay, I skipped it. <laughs> I, I used up some diamonds and skipped it, but he, he's taking granola. I feel silly for using up the diamonds, but I'm really eager to see him grow up. Darn, yay! All right, oh yes, and he wants more of the yellow. Good boy, good boy. All right, let's feed you this. See, yeah, you're gonna grow up to be big and strong. Oh, we're so close to leveling up too. It's so tempting. We're like almost there. All right, and he wants some apples. Do we have more apples? I might need more apples. Apples, grow faster. Oh my goodness. Oh, and we actually need to come over and take care of the bees. Oh, and then there's an announcement I missed. Yippee, it's a lucky week. The cost of breeds are up to 50% off and each day you'll have one shot to uh, to up your chances of getting the breed you want. Hurry, this deal will expire before you know it. Are you ready to welcome your new foal? Oh, that's so exciting. So there's, a, I, I think it's the breeding event. <gasps> it's a breeding event. We need you. Come on, little one. You gotta grow up. It's a limited edition breeding event. That means we have a shot at getting the tier three. All right, come on, little guy. Only seven? Only seven? You little goose bucket, you little goose bucket. All right, so it's probably not gonna happen right now since I need to go back to Montana and I actually need to invest in getting more corn grown in all of our little, all of our little extra fields. <laughs> so by the time we come back next time, you guys, hopefully it'll be time to grow that little one all the way up to level five and we'll be ready to try out the special breeding week. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Oh, and then before I forget, well, you know what? We'll keep Leo and Leona out here in the Montana fields for just a little bit longer because they are excellent racing companions actually and they bring in a lot of coins from their races so I'm ex excited to have them with us still and I will see you guys next time bye bye